Nasty. Nasty. Oh my goodness. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to wrap this up. We are once again uh, back in the Thunderdome. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Send it out. The other one was dead. It's taken down. We'll wrap up this show, ladies and gentlemen. We'll wrap it up, all right? We got to go. We are on the backup. All right, go ahead and please send the invite out. Well, oh, well. Well, yeah, they, they took me down, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't win the appeal, so we'll have to do the show uh, on the back up, ladies and gentlemen. We are once again back. <laughs> nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right, all right. Let's see who do we got this morning. All right, let's get let's get it going, ladies and gentlemen. That was an interesting conversation, though. Let's let's just be honest. We have a few more. Yeah, they did me dirty, Southern Delight. They did Zeus dirty. All right, and I didn't win the appeal. We didn't win it, but we will continue on ladies and gentlemen all right let's get back into it all right all right yes ladies and gentlemen please share the live send it out to all of the zeus fans please all right all right, all right okay yeah tiktok is definitely uh um doing their thing to make sure zeus does not get out there all right but we'll we'll do our best ladies and gentlemen to keep it going all right uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my god. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see, I see what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen, I see. Uh, let's see, uh, greetings, heaven, how are you all doing? Let's see if we can get this thing going again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's see, is the box open? Let's see, let's see, all right. All righty then. Was that an interesting conversation or what, ladies and gentlemen? Jesus Christ. Yeah, they said, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Sometimes you got to warm up the boxes. Oh, we had a we had a MAGA demon in the box, um, and we had a nice a MAGA demon. Wow, wow, wow. It is hot over here. All right. Okay, let's see. Who do we have? Where are the Trump supporters at? I know they're in here and they're looking for Zeus. Greetings. Uh, greetings, Levi. How are you doing? Hi, Shay. Trini didn't realize that all Trump does is insult people. She knew. She knew. But the thing is, you know, when you start telling them the truth about their, their daddy, they, they, get, they get desperate. They get scared. All right. Uh, who else do we have out there? All right. All right, we only got a few more minutes. They love Trump's racism and hate. Yeah, that's MAGA. Oh, who is this shocker? This guy on his 50th account. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. This is not my 50th account. I only got a few accounts. Come on now. Knock it off. Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen. That was, a, I would say, a good conversation. Uh, she sort of sounded like she was opening to, opening up to possibly coming around. But, you know, the demon, the demon is too deep within her. So she's lost, ladies and gentlemen. But, you know, thank you for bearing with me. We will be doing, uh, we will be doing our show on this account at least until Thursday of next week, right? Because, you know, they do it for a week. Let me double check it. Yeah, they said, they said, hold on. Appeal not approved. Uh, let's see. Under, okay. It will be restored on September 11th at 8 a.m. So, yes. Uh, there you go. That's a good seven-day timeout on this on my other account. But you know what? We will survive. After the debate. Yeah. Hector, greetings. Yeah. Yeah. Bag of demons are going crazy these days. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, 
But, you know, this is what's going on when you know that the truth is not in you. Uh, this is what the Trump supporters are doing now. They're they're resorting to denial. Uh, they're, they're resorting to the insult. She said that I was insulting her. And I said, no, I'm not really insulting. I'm just basically calling it what I calling it what it is. Right. When they when they get in the box and they start trying to play games and act like uh, they don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you got to call that out. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my goodness. Let's see, where are we at, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Gold Star, Gold Star Families Roasting Your Girl. Shelby, what are you talking about, Shelby? Shelby, you can't get in the box. Shelby, get in the box. Go get your go get your regular account, Shelby, and tell Zeus what you're talking about. All right. We don't got all morning to do this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh yes, this is Zeus on his backup account. Uh, we ran into uh, we ran into a nasty situation with the previous guest. All right, what was her name? Uh, I forgot what her name was. What was her name? Trini. I think her name was Trini. Yes, we ran into some nasty uh, nasty dialogue. All right, all right. Yeah, it was Trini. You got to watch out for those kind. But you know, I hope somebody was listening and paying attention. All right, Brian, welcome back, Brian. What are you talking about, uh, Shelby? Shelby, you want to come in the box and talk to Zeus? We can finish it up. It, it, I don't bite. Shelby, you know what? Since you can't say anything, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put Shelby in a bit of a straight jacket. All right, Shelby, I don't want to hear from you if you can't get into the box. Uh, yes, yes. Gr uh, goats are us. How are you doing, champion? Yes, we're looking to have a conversation with some of these Trump supporters. All right. If you're a Trump supporter, please put a one in the chat. All right. We don't got much time to do this. All right. Put a one in the chat. Good morning, attacking. How are you doing, my good friend? All right. Don't worry. I took care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, who is this? Who is this? Michael Archer. Michael. Hello. Greetings, Michael. How are you? Yep. How are you? Good. Oh, okay. Uh, what brings you to the show this morning? You said you wanted to talk to a Trump supporter. Here I am. Oh, okay. All right. Well, how old are you? 43. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. What part of the country are you in, uh, Michael? Missouri. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like uh, I've spoken with, no, oh, no. Oh, I know. I think you, you, you make uh, stitches of my videos. Probably, yeah. Oh, okay, Michael. I got it. Well, listen, now you get to talk to me for the first time in your life. How does it feel to to know that, uh, you know, I'm doing a lot better in terms of winning compared to you? You're a Snuggles worshiper. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, is there anything you want to say? No, not really. Oh, okay. Then, then why did you send the guest request? You asked for a Trump supporter. I'm a Trump supporter. But, but, okay, okay, okay. But, Michael, listen up. Listen. If you don't have much to say, what I need you to do is just to sit out in the chat, in the comment section, and just listen to what I'm saying, all right? And do me a favor. Don't make any more stitches of my videos, all right? I don't do that so that you can go around and reveal uh, how, how unintelligent and how uninformed you are, all right? I just need I you to do the work. If I just need I just need I just need you to do the Michael, I just need you to do the work, all right? You're too old to be worshiping to Donald. You you're too old to be worshiping Donald Trump, sir. I'm going to be honest with you, and you know better. Your mo your parents didn't raise you to follow a clown like this. Actually, my dad was a supporter of Donald Trump. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. I know my it for a fact. For Donald Trump. That wasn't your dad. That's not your real dad. Yeah, actually, you're right. He adopted me. I, okay, okay. Like I said, Michael, do better. I'm what you call a bastard child. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. Keep it clean, all right. Michael, I need you to do better, all right. This is this is you know, Michael. I gotta I gotta move on from this guy, Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael is clearly in need of a lot of help, and unfortunately, we don't have enough time to do it here. But you know what we could do? Let's go ahead and give Michael a big round of booze and shame. <laughs> Hey, Jerry, are you a Trump supporter? Yes, I am. 
Oh, good, good. You sound like you are a little more coherent than the previous MAGA guest. All right. What part of the country <laughs> are you calling in from, if you don't mind? Uh, southeast. Southeast. Okay, okay. All right. Well, listen, what brings you, uh, what makes you feel like Donald Trump is going to be a great president, considering all the information you know about him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't, I don't ever get in feelings. I try not to let feelings get involved with uh, voting and, and um, policies and things. I, I, I'm not one to get my feelings hurt by what somebody says nor does. Uh, that, that doesn't affect me. I, I look at what he does for the country and what he does for uh, the, my, my views and, and my ideologies. And I'm not saying that that uh, everybody should vote for Trump. It is your vote. You should vote for whoever. Uh, ha has your values uh, and, and, and your ideologies at heart. You know what I mean? Mm. So everybody's always like focused on why are you voting? Oh, you, you, you're How old are you? Voting. How old are you? Uh, 26. Okay, I got it. You seem, you, seem, you seem like you're still getting over the hump. All right, I just wanted to double check. Yeah, but a, a lot of people always like, oh, you're voting for, for this person because because uh, and you're not respecting me it's like no like that's what people don't understand this is my vote i'm going to vote for who uh who goes for my values and and what, my but, but issues you what know? values do, yeah 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 i think that's great and i and i appreciate that you think like that do you think your values might change or evolve over the course of time right you know you're 26 yeah, no, no, maybe and, may, maybe when and, you're 40 you might have different values right so you got to think long term yeah, sure. you got to think long term yeah, yeah, yeah no, no most definitely but but like my my thing is i, I uh, one thing i hate i hate being told uh what what I hate like politically correctness. I hate that. Oh, you mean I like be when people the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. You know what I mean? Me? I don't want to no. be told. Wait, are you there? All right, yeah, can you yeah, get on some real Wi Fi? Get your get your connection straight, uh, straight, bro. All right, it's there. It goes. Looks like it's better right now. Okay, whatever you were doing. Now you're back. Now you're back. So so you don't like when people basically ask you to become a better person you want to be able to be who you want to be without no, having no. to worry about what was that no i don't like being told exactly what is politically correct i don't like when give me an example change their views and flip up yeah so i don't like like so like trump trump will come in he will speak to the media he will answer questions any day every day of the week kamala harris is what now uh, just under like a two months out of this election and she has yet to answer any questions people have questions for her and but she wants to sit back and study and have the perfect dance you know your value you know what you uh jerry your connection your connection is going in and out again jerry jerry are you there see jerry yeah yeah Okay, are, are you are you wandering around outside somewhere? Are you are you stable, Jerry? Yeah, I, I'm 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 stationary, but I might just be in a bad spot. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, uh, I'm trying to make make sure I'm I'm having this conversation with you. But if your your connection is uh, in and out like that, you know, I don't know if we'll be able to pull this off, my good friend. All right. I can be Okay. All right. All right. So, so Kamala Harris, you're saying you don't like the fact that she wants to give you an educated answer. You prefer Donald Trump's lies and, and misinformation and disinformation. Is that, is that safe to say? Do I got that right? If, if, if that's what, how you, you want to call it, I mean, sure. I, I, I'm saying, but Donald I, Trump, you, you, you know, he has a record of lying every day of the week. I'm but what are Trump's values? values every day of the week? You shouldn't have to study them. Yeah. And, okay. and he tells us every single time he's on a mic. But he lies all the time. So you don't know a person's values when they lie all the time. You got to look at their actions, right? You got to see the things that they've done. You know, they say actions speak mm -hmm. louder than words. Mm -hmm. Right. And wouldn't it be fair to say that his actions show you that who he, who he really is? He's a criminal. Yeah, so, so so the things like so you like, are your I, I like how you said about the lies. 
But but Jerry, well, he's a liar too. His actions show that he's a liar, and his actions show that he's a criminal. And that's why I'm here to kind of get that out here for you. But I can talk about Harris's. But can we finish up Donald Trump's, if you don't mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay, and I can agree. I can agree with you. He didn't have. So you you agree that Trump is a liar, and you agree that he's a criminal. Yeah, sure. That's perfectly fine with me. So that also then tells me your values are are the same thing. You're a liar and you're a criminal. Is that safe to say? Yeah, and, sure. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so then there's really nothing else to say about Kamala Harris because she's not those things. Uh, okay, well, well, let's talk about what she is then. Let's talk about but but how can a liar and a criminal? What can a what can a liar and a criminal? What can a liar and a criminal say? To someone else, that's not that. I'm I'm a little confused. Okay, yeah. So I'm I'm about to explain it to you. So let's let, let's talk about what Kamala Harris's main running point is. Her main thing, the only thing, the only foot she has to stand on is, hey, we're gonna turn over Roe v. Wade when she no. has no control over that, no. zero control. No, nothing. No, She's she has a lot. In office, she has a lot more. Her watch. Have you checked out her opportunity economy policy? She has a lot Have more checked- going on. She's also talking about helping to fix the issue going on with immigration. So that's economy and immigration. Those are two big, big issues that a lot of people on the right have been crying and complaining about. She wants to also take off those taxes on tips, which, you know, that's going to help a lot of men and women in the well, service industry. Trump. <laughs> Trump got it from Trump got it from someone else. P- Paul Ryan. So let's just let's just let's just cut it out. No, OK, but, but I'm saying. But Jer- so, Jerry, thing- Jerry, Jerry. You yeah. want me to take you serious when you openly admit you are aligned with a criminal, a lying criminal. Oh, you so know I, that you I, took I away your ability. To you took away you. your. Don't just say it. you're doing what Trump does. Then people want the truth, Jerry. They don't want a, if it's a lie, then don't repeat it. OK, so let's talk about the truth. Then why is, is the are you really in support of a criminal? She has no control over. Nothing. Are you really in support of a criminal, are you, Jerry? Yes. Are you in support of a communist and socialist? She's not a communist. What, the, okay, so her father was communist, and she carries the same exact value. No, he though. was not. No, he was yes, not. He was. No, no, no. He was Come a distinguished. On, he was a distinguished professor that worked at multiple well-respected universities, and he studied e- the economy. Crossing. Are, are we really doing this? Are you trying to say that uh, she's not a communist? No, but Donald Trump wants to be. He's the one that wants to be a dictator. She has wait, 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 wait. She wants to be a dick. Donald Trump wants to be a dictator on day one. Yes or no? No. No, he does. No, he doesn't. That's, he said it. So, that is very false. So what? 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 If I played the evidence for you? You can play evidence, and you can play something that was said. <laughs> That has nothing to do with him becoming a dictator and think that, oh, if he oh, if he together. said it, if he's, he said it, he's let me never, play it for it. He, he, it's it's never going to happen, Mr. Crossing. It's never it's, it's not going to happen. Well, so listen, we're talking about hypothetical situations that may or may not. We're not doing that. No, you no, no. He might want to do that. Listen, listen, I, listen, listen, listen. Let's make sure we what I don't want to do is make up things and be a liar like Donald Trump. Exactly. Right. So at least give me points for doing that. All right, let's get let's go. Trump really said it. He'll be a dictator for a day if reelected. He says you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said no, no, no. Other than day one, Trump made it. You Trump. heard that? Oh yeah, man. He he's going to be a dictator. Yeah. Did oh, you hear what he did? You did you him. hear? Did you hear what he just said? Yeah. He, he, was he, I lying? Was I lying? Did yeah, Trump yeah, really? Man. No. Was no, I? You're was, the truth. He's okay. Be a dictator, man. Holy shit. Wait, wait, wait. Now listen, listen, Jerry. We we keep it clean over here, but that's just another example of the issue out here, right? Whenever I show people like you who Donald Trump really is, you do that little trick, right? You you spiral out of control. You you make it seem like it's something funny. It's not. This is a guy who's running on retribution. Do you really believe him? You know Donald Trump said something. You know what Donald Trump has said? Valerie, thank you so much for the train. You know what Donald Trump said? He said... Hold on, hold on, hold on. on. Donald Trump actually said he Hillary Clinton up. Do you remember him saying that? Jerry? Uh, No. No. Jerry, remember Donald Trump? Do you remember him saying lock her up? 
Huh, Jerry? Jerry. It seems like Jerry is on the well, mega. Yeah, well, he said, he said if, if, if. Jerry, bro, your, 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 your connection is like seriously. She would, be, uh, elected, uh, she would be in jail. Huh? Jerry, your connection is like seriously all over the place. And I don't know if we could. I can hear okay, you. well, I, I can't hear you responding to my questions. All right. So do you believe Donald Trump said he didn't want to lock Hillary Clinton up? Yeah, no, he did say that. He said that he said if I were elected, you'd be in jail. That's exactly what he said. Yeah, he, you remember him chanting lock her up. Yeah. Why did Donald Trump go on, go on and say he didn't want to lock up Hillary Clinton then? Why did he lie and say he didn't say that? I don't, I don't know, I don't know, man. But let's. Can we talk about policy? Biden. And why you want to talk about Biden, or you want to talk about Hunter Biden now, or something, or, or, or no, are no, we done? No, I said, I said, I don't want to talk. Let's talk about po why. Give me the three main issues in our country, and then give me Kamala Harris's uh, plan to um, fix them. To you. No, 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 no. I told you to look up the opportunity economy, right? I told you to look up the the situation that she's going to take care of at the border. All right. We, she also said she's going to go after people, those businesses that are engaging in price gouging. She wants to help people get into these homes. All right. She wants to solve the housing issue in this country. Kamala Harris, like you said, she, she is she is studying. She is studying, and then she's giving you an answer. Donald Trump doesn't have an answer. You know what his in, okay, his Clinton. answer? You know what his answer is right now to fixing the the border? Put me in office. I'll fix it. M Mr. You, want me, you want me to fix inflation? What? Put me in office. I'll what? fix inflation. What are, your, what are your What are your three biggest issues? The truth. No, the, the truth three, and the truth. How about that? Issues? The truth. The truth. The, yeah. <laughs> See, this can't be real. So uh, the truth being one. Okay. What's two and three? Accountability. Crime. Accountability and crime. No. The, okay. So so th this this is somebody that's trying integrity. To this integrity. Is trying to convince me. To vote for Harris, you said truth, accountability, mm -hmm. and crime. Perfect. Okay. And, and add integrity, too. <laughs> All right. And integrity. We'll equity. Yeah, add, add equity, we'll too. Four. We'll do four. We'll do, okay. uh, equity, too. Add equity. And okay, I'm glad equity. this is funny to you, Perfect. but... I hope we're. I hope. I hope you're learning something through this conversation. Oh yeah, man. I can. I can learn because when I because say your issues. You because say truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Can you look? Do you have a device to look up anything on right now? Uh, no, just the device I'm on. But look, Mr. Okay. Carson. Okay. So I here's the thing, Jerry. Issues where you said truth. Ask mm -hmm. me what my issues are. Oh, so you don't care about my issues now? No, no, I do. It, it's just funny. I, I ask me what my issues are. What are your issues, uh, yeah, sure. Jerry? So my three biggest issues are national security, number one. Number two, economy. Number three, protecting of my rights. Those okay. are my three biggest. Okay, so national security. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think about Donald Trump stealing our secrets and not giving them back, actually trying to sell them to our adversaries, perhaps? What do you think about that in terms of national security? Yeah, well, no. What do you think about Donald Trump actually negotiating with the Taliban, you know, that Afghanistan withdrawal, and actually inviting the Taliban to Camp David? What do you think Donald Donald Trump siding with our adversaries while at the same time disparaging our generals? What do you think about that in terms of our national on, on Trump's watch? Sir, how many wars happened on Trump's watch? Sir, did you answer my question? Did you answer mine? How many how many wars happened under Biden's watch? <laughs> do, you, do you how long do you have? You, Biden you didn't. Biden. <laughs> Biden didn't start any wars. So, no, it, it was d directly affected by his. That's that's some. Office. That's in another country. It was directly affected. Is, is by that happening here, Trump. Jerry? Jerry, is that happening here? It so was stop, directly Jerry, affected Jerry, by his Jerry, foreign Jerry, policy. Jerry, Jerry. Who invaded Ukraine? Russia. Okay, On so stop. Watch. So stop saying On Biden started watch. something. Stop it, Jerry, because you On sound uninformed. How do I sound uninformed because you, you said you said work? you said Biden started a war, Mr. but you just also admitted it was Putin that actually did that. So you see the lies. You're just as you're just <laughs> you as gullible. You, right. you Donald right. Trump likes you. You know why Donald Trump likes you? Oh, it looks like Jerry has ran for the hills. I guess I was cooking Jerry a little too much. Oh, well, guess what, Jerry? The cooking has only begun because guess what we're about to do ladies and gentlemen i've just turned up the temperature in the lake of fire
And what we're going to do is cast Jerry and the MAGA demon into it. All right. Jerry might be a great person at 26 years old, but unfortunately, he's not so great when he's possessed with the MAGA demon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pleasure that I do this. Join me in giving Jerry the biggest round of, you guessed it, booze and shame. <laughs> Hey, Jerry, this one's for you. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. You hear that, Jerry? If you are out there and you're supporting Donald Trump and you're not happy with the United States of America, you are more than welcome to leave this country and go hang out with Vladimir Putin, the one who started the war. See, Jerry couldn't deal with the truth. Tried to say Biden started it. Well, it happened on his watch. Well, if you go look it up, there are a lot of things that happened on Donald Trump's watch. Do you remember the, the pew pewing in Las Vegas that happened? Yeah, that happened under Donald Trump's watch. This man is the worst thing ever for the United States of America. You should be thanking President Biden and this woman, Kamala Harris, Jerry, that you were able to get out of that nasty pandemic where Donald Trump shut the nation down. This is what, this is the serious, this is, this is some sick stuff these folks have gotten themselves into. All right, let's bring up our next panelist. All right, all right, who do we got next? Good morning, z -Pac. All right, welcome to the backup account. How are you doing? I wanted to, I really wanted to talk to Jerry. <laughs> what, what did you want to say to Jerry? Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to just have a conversation with him. I just thought it would be a funny thing. I either was going to hit him with a little bit of, you know, chumpy doo-doo. Mm -hmm. Or I was going to, you know, ask him some questions. But you, you handled that very well, I thought. Um, you know, he talks about national security and uh, he talks about the, you know, the typical things that uh, these folks love, but uh, they don't understand exactly why they love it. Mm. Maybe it's because, maybe because he told them that they should love it, <laughs> right? Maybe, maybe yeah. it's because they gave him a little, I am the greatest person that will ever handle the national security, okay? Yeah. And uh, I've done great things. I released a lot of people. Mm. I released a lot of Taliban, and uh, <laughs> they were involved in a lot of yeah. things. And, uh, you hear that, Jerry? He's and it's it, so strongly. Mm -hmm. You mean when you wow. took our troop numbers down in Afghanistan, right? That was you. We took them down to pretty much zero. Mm. We took what them about to the numbers that were probably zero or 0.3%. Yeah. You hear mm -hmm. that? You hear that, Jerry? This is what Donald Trump did. All right. This is what and he did. What else? So, and so what we did then, Jerry, is we uh, we did a, well, we had a war. It was the Afghanistan war. It was going on under my watch. The war in Israel was also going on under my watch. But it was, uh, it's been going on for 80 years, quite frankly. Yeah. And uh, realistically, excuse me, uh, realistically, uh, there was a, Jerry car running by. Uh, and so realistically, <laughs> what they did was they said uh, they it, it happened under his watch. Unbelievable. Who's yeah. watch? Isn't I, it I funny how everything watch. it's so funny how everything around you is the best and it's also unbelievable, the greatest. Isn't that so funny how it all ends well, up like that know, around I, you? I like what's going on? By a whisker. Oh, you okay, did. the election by a whisker. Mm. And that's what I'm saying now. And uh, so it's uh, very exciting. And if there's any more MAGA in the mm. chat, right. this is low energy Trump. And I'd love to have a serious conversation with these people. Tell them. Because I think that maybe they have some problems. Mm. And, yeah, are you okay? Uh, are, are, you, are, you, are you doing something in the background? Because I hear a lot of sniffling. Uh, well, you know, it's it's just my normal, it's my normal speech. Mm. And uh, how dare you? Mm. Shame on you. You make yeah. fun of me for 
for being. Uh, it sounds like you're trying to blast off in a way. If you know what I mean. Well, that's the people. They say it's Donald Jr. He's on mm. the Oh, you're you're you're, you're playing with me. Donald Jr.'s uh, party Not pack. Me. Got it. Got it. Absolutely. And mm. uh, so yes, that's what we're doing, and we're doing it well. Doing it. Doing it. Wow. Well. That's a song. Wow! And, wow! Uh, wow! So that's fine, and what we'll do is we'll let you go. Uh, All right. Should run away. And have a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear the I hear the cops are looking for you. All right. So make sure you, you you do something to get out of that jam you're in. All right. You know the song, doing it, doing it, doing it well. Yeah. That's what I do. That's what I do. You better believe it. Oh my goodness. Well, you sound very enthusiastic when you do it. All right. Seriously, I've never seen so much energy coming out of one person. I said, sir. I said, sir. Where are we going? Excuse me, I said, sir. Actually, Donald Jr., I don't know if you were here yesterday, he oh. drove us into a, a sand trap. Oh, really? At the golf course. Oh, wow. Was, quite frankly, it was a disaster. Oh, no. Well, you know. The vehicle flipped. And, well, maybe uh, you should. There were. It... I get it. I get it. Yeah, you can't drive on sand. You can and my ear was re-injured, quite frankly. Mm. And uh, so they had to do a little surgery. They call it, we call it surgery. We call wow. It, some people call it stitches for mm. snitches. But mm. that's okay. Mm. Wow, wow. Thank you, Rick, for money. the money we gun. We love money gun. We love people. Yeah. Wow. And uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. But well, listen, it was I nice. Said, sir. Yes. I said, sir, please, please continue your programming. I All said, right, sir. I said, sir. Okay, yes. so strong. Well, listen up, uh, Z Pac. I appreciate you, my good friend. All right, we love and you, you come on back. Special. All right, and, and, well, thank you. I I love that you believe I'm very special, and so are you. All right, keep up the great work, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up to Z Pac. <laughs> Alrighty then, all right, who do we got next, ladies and gentlemen? Who is this right here? Real quickly, who do we got? Uh, user, how are you doing? Good morning. I'm great. How are you doing? Um, all right, all right. What brings you to the show this morning? Uh, just touching in. I'm actually a Republican that's going to be voting for Harris this time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Get it out there. What is it you would like to say real quickly, my friend? I live in I live in the in the South, and I have to deal with these MAGA idiots, man. And, and what I love to do is they talk about groceries and gas, but every week they buy new flags, and then you can show them the back of a Make America Great flag, and it's made in China. Yeah. And and and, and I swear, if Trump was holding a, hosting a blowjob contest, the men would push their wives out the way to get in line first, and then beg their wives <laughs> to watch them and cheer. Them. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous, bro. So I'm I can't wait for Harris just to wipe the floor with him and, and get on past all of this, and hopefully they'll get rid of MAGA forever. So. Wow, wow, wow! So you believe MAGA has taken over the Republican Party, and they need to go, right? Well, there ain't even a Republican Party no more, so I'm hoping that maybe by 2028 something may change, or if Harris does a great job, she'll stay in and then eventually do something to right. Uh-oh, what happened to him? What happened to your mic? Did you get a call, user? Did you get a call, I, user? I had a call, but I'm back. Okay, I'm okay, back, okay. But, so, but I, the, the, the Republican Party... The Republican Party has just been trashed by Donald Trump, and the people that can just sit there and allow to go on what's going on is just a, it's just a travesty. It's terrible. I I completely agree. All right, but listen, uh, I appreciate you having the courage, brother. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a nice follow back. All right, and we do hope to hear from you. All right, seriously. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Enjoy all that. right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to you, sir. No lies detected. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to warm up the backup account, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for being here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Who do we got? All right, I see you. All right, good morning, uh, Nutty Professor. How are you doing, my good friend? Nutty, are you there? Nutty, going once, going twice. Thank you, Valerie. Uh, yes, all uh, right, Nutty, 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 Nutty. I don't know where you went, bro, but all right, TJ, good morning, TJ, welcome. <laughs> yes, sir, how are you doing? I'm good, bro, I'm good. Just got to keep it quick because I'm in the stairwell. Uh, okay, during lunch. okay, let's um, go. So I wanted to say to that guy, if you want to talk about policies, Trump has no policies. 
the agenda 47 and project 2025 were made for him none of that is his policy but Bingo. he's going to pass it anyway secondly you're talking about your rights what about the rights of women you said you're from the southeast what about your mother your sister mm. your aunt your wife if you have one your girlfriend if you got one um you don't believe that they deserve rights their autonomy to their own body their own say you're garbage for saying that mm. and then lastly he's talking about what, what was he talking about like um that you're, you're, you, you wanted truth and, and integrity. That no, that's what I told him I want. I told that, him that, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, that didn't matter to him. He wanted to make sure that his national uh, national security was, was intact. <laughs> How can national security be intact if he's selling our secrets, allowing the border to not be updated and, and, and move into the future with better programs? They, they are begging for more agents, more judges, and that was on the table. Biden had it. Biden had it ready to go from Langford. And he said, don't do it. So what, where, where does the nonsense end mm. these people? It's garbage that they're saying that they want the, the, the national security. They want, they want all, all these other things. They want their, their own rights. What about the rights of more than half of the population? 54% of this nation is women 54 percent of the voters for this election is women mm. so you're you're not with the curve you understand what i'm saying you're falling behind i predict trump will only get 10 states and that's me doing the numbers in my head yeah that's not that's not 270. it's a landslide for, for harris and if you want to look at what what um trump's first uh uh decision as a possible president was he got J.D. Vance. Mm. J.D. Vance co-authored Project 2025. Wow. Tell him, tell him, TJ. Everything I'm telling you is easy to look up because guess what? We're in the information to, uh, age, aren't we? You're yes. on a smartphone, aren't you? They you say they are. This up. You can look this up. Having no answer, having your feelings is nonsense at this point. And the fact that they keep saying, it call, I, I don't have money for eggs. I don't have money for this. But you have money for all this Trump merchandise. You have the money to wrap your car in Trump um, decals. That's ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Wow. Ain't that funny? They, they, they can they can they can find ten thousand dollars to worship their daddy. But when it comes to feeding themselves and their family, they are out of money. It's unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's nonsense. It's like what. Are you taking crazy pills? Because whatever you want, I definitely don't want it. What I want is I want a future where my daughters are going to be equal to men. There is no glass ceiling. And right now, the way to the future is Kamala Harris. If you're Bingo. not with it, get with it. Bingo. Uh, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to my good friend TJ No Lies the Tech Kid. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go bring up our next guest, CJ. Welcome, CJ. How are you doing? Hello. What a show. How are you doing, my good friend? I'm doing fine, and I'm not in opposition, but can I just say something really fast so I can yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I just want to say I'm 18. I'm a, I'm a, a Gen Z or I'm a new voter. I'm, okay. I'm so excited to be participating in this historic moment, period. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Tell them. Let's wow. Y'all have to uh, Sorry, that's kind of Sorry, uh, listen, Gen Zers, please make sure you vote and get your voter registration. I'm about to go and drop mine off literally right now. Okay, make sure you get registered, especially if you're in a red state, because they're trying to purge voters out of the system. Also, I just want to say before I drop, these people, these goofy goobers, are the same people who will be complaining about, oh, the groceries are so high, the gas is so high, the house, the housing market is so ridiculous. And then when Harris comes up with a solution, they're like, that's communism. Like, guys, oh. what? Pick a side, please. Like, do you want to keep paying out of your ass for groceries or do you want a solution? Okay. Tell them. Um, and I love, I love that you're up here. Like, I love to see a black man defending black women's. And yes, she is black. We ain't going to argue about that. Amen. But, wow. You know, do what you got to do, man. You're, you're killing. I'm going to follow you and everything. All right. Yep. Well, thank you. So this is my, this is my backup account. All right. The other one oh. got taken down today. We were cooking them live and early this morning and you know, they, they went after me. So I appreciate meeting you over here. This, I wouldn't have had this opportunity if that didn't happen. So, uh, you can follow my main account as well. Yes, and, sir. Uh, 
we'll keep doing this but i'll be here the rest of the week all the way until what uh, september 11th so uh you know i hope to hear from you again you are the voice of your generation all right and it's important that you get to you are out here and you are heard and you're speaking uh you're speaking truth to light the way that you are seriously i appreciate it i really think my generation can be the change i I yeah honestly but um that's all i have to say thank you so much keep cooking these uh, maggots, please. Okay, um, we'll do. We'll do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful CJ No Lies Detective. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it's a show of force. All right, all right, and, and this is what we are doing on a daily basis. All right, yes, you know, don't you? Don't, we don't need to give Trini that much power, ladies and gentlemen. Things happen on this app. We just continue to bring the truth, despite the odds. Despite the odds, uh, goats are us. How are you doing, my good friend? I've been much better, Zeus. I'm, uh, all right. Kids brought, me, kids brought me the old C-19 home from school. So me no. and my wife. Yeah, we've got it. Wow. Uh, wow. I'm gonna make Hang it in there. Quick. Uh, there's another active shooter in, or a pew pew in, in, at a high school in Georgia right now. Um, so this is just another example. You know, this, what? Yeah, in Winder, oh, Georgia. No. I'm not going to repeat. You know, the comments are going wild, but they're live from there. It's on their local news down there. Oh, so I'm no. not gonna, you know, until it's wow. official, how many's, you know, so that is so, un- well, you know, our <laughs> thoughts and our, you know, thoughts and prayer, you know, I hate saying that because it's just said so much. Right. Um, but, you know, it do, they do go out to these people who have been <clears throat> impacted by once again, uh, another situation that involves pew pew violence. Um, just, <sighs> Wow. Sad, yes. Sad. Sending prayers. Sad. Yeah. Wow. You know, only in America does this craziness happen. It's just sad. Sad. Wow. But, and I, also from last week's uh, with that military guy, I've gotten multiple threats from that in private messages. But I uh, guess what? It's not going to scare me. I'm going to continue doing what I do, Maggie. Yeah. Oh, they, 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 they're, 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 they're resorting to their... Uh, fear tactics well listen be careful out there all right these people are are not wrapped too well you know what i mean goats are us but you know i encourage everybody uh to to protect themselves oh my goodness you do got it you do got it yeah yeah Yeah. all right zeus i'm gonna hop off but you guys take care and we'll talk at you another day all right all right ladies and gentlemen let's give it up to goats (laughs) are us You're welcome, brother. Thanks for coming up on the backup. Seriously. All right. All right. Let's go. Good morning, Shay. How are you doing, Shay? Hey, I'm great. How are you? Ah, I'm all right. Just another day in the kingdom tending to the affairs. You know, they got me on my backup. I was cooking so well. I saw that, my friend. I saw that. We'll get it going again. Don't worry. They'll find me over here. Then they'll come over here and get their daily dose of truth. All right. But, you know. Absolutely. Keep sharing it out. Letting everybody know where you are this week. And it's all good. Because you're going to have the debate. Yeah. uh, Tuesday. So Wednesday morning, uh, you know. We'll get well, everybody over here so we can discuss how well Kamala Harris did at the debate. So, wow, let's do it! <laughs> We're gonna get them. There's a lot of people saying if she does well, she, you know, it's that's it's in the bag for her. Did you hear about New Hampshire? No, no, oh, oh, she's yeah. going to take it, and Trump's uh, campaign staff member yep. resigned, or they kicked him out. Yeah, did you see his post about it? It's hysterical. What did he say? Did he say it this morning? Um, yeah, it may have been this morning or maybe last night. When did I see it? Uh, I might have seen it last night, but yeah, he addressed it because you know it happened yesterday. So right. He's always on the horn trying to, trying to. Oh, but New Hampshire, you have to vote for me because she's a communist and she's gonna take away your jobs. She wrong. Gonna, she gonna take away your children. Wrong. She's wrong. gonna take away everything. She's gonna wow. turn New Hampshire into a third world country. I'm wow. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just trying. <laughs> <laughs> Unhinged, right? Unhinged. Absolutely unhinged. And uh, yeah, so it is just, it is absolutely fascinating. What is this? Golden Sachs has officially predicted there will be both stronger job growth and stronger GOP growth if Kamala Harris wins presidency. Well, we all know it. We all know this. 
Goldman Sachs. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, this is this is really this is really great. You know, as I listen to your other your other crazy crazy guy that was on there just talking about how you know Trump Trump he just admitting that Trump's a liar, right? Yeah. And just admitting that, but he is all tied up in his feelings, you know, about how Donald Trump makes him feel. And, wow. And that's true. You know, it's funny because Trumpers always say, you guys are in your feelings, mean tweets, return of the mean tweets and all this, this stuff. When in the end of the day, it's not about feelings for us. It's about policy. But if Tell you turn them. it on them, right, you turn it on them, for them, it is how they feel, right? Yeah, yeah. How, how many times did it come up and say, but I feel like the country was better. I mm. feel like I was doing better. How many times do they talk about feelings? All the time. All These people, the time. they don't care about facts. They don't care about truth. They ca- they care about feelings. Yeah, they felt better under him. And and then you're, the, the woman you had up, you know, for her, it was, she didn't, she doesn't care. She likes the way he talks, right? And that's the other thing I always, and I've talked about this before, they like that he's an unpolished guy, right? That he speaks off the cuff. They like that feeling because what he represents for them is their internal angst against certain groups. Right? Mm. You know, buying into the fact that they think Democrats are this and that, or whether it's a gay community or whatever it is, right? And so when he attacks these people and he calls them names and all their stupid little things, yeah, they love that because that's how they feel, right? Wow. They don't want to say it because they know they'll lose friends, family, jobs, etc. They love yeah. that he says it, that he speaks for them. So they don't they don't care that he's a narcissistic attacker. He, yeah. They love it. They're like, yes, he's speaking for us. Wow. It's just crazy to me. The poorly so, educated, he speaks for all of you. They know they have nothing in common with Donald Trump, but they believe he speaks for them. You guys are something else, I tell you. Very simplistic. Hey, bad views, bad views. Oh, we got right. bad news for you, all right? If I were you, bad views, I would zip it because you don't know anything. You've been wrong for a long time. That's why you have bad yeah. views. I am a doctor, bad views. Absolutely. You hadn't heard that? Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to I'm just going to say whatever, because you don't care about views because Donald Trump can get on the stage and say whatever, that he's the most brilliant, that he's the one that knows more than his generals. Right. Even though he's never served in the military. Right. He says all of that bad to you. So why are you throwing that angst on me? You're the one voting for a guy that literally stands on stage and lies to you all the time and says that he knows this and he's the greatest at this and all this stuff. Right. Yeah, and, but and you buy everything. So yeah, bad views. I am a doctor. I just, I just, I just got my medical degree yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So let me know what you need. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll diagnose you and uh, maybe write your prescription for something that you might need. Thank you. So, tell them, yeah, Shay. Might as well. I mean, you guys buy in all the BS. We might as well tell lie to you too, right? Tell them. Might yeah. As well. I mean, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. But anyway, my friend, I love you and you're love doing you as good well. job. Keep doing the things and uh we will to we- come and God bless the kids and the yes. I agree. Yeah, I agree, Georgia. Shay. Yeah. It shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't be happening, but oh well. All right, my friend. Love all you right. guys in the kingdom. Thank you so much. All right, all right, Bye, ladies everybody. and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Shay. All right, we had someone they may need to come up real quickly. Gabby, you want to come up real quickly? All right, because we got to get up out of here, ladies and gentlemen, before they come and get me. All right, I'm telling too much truth on TikTok. Good morning, Gabby. How are you doing? Hi, Mrs. <laughs> Hi, Zeus. I, I follow your other account. Um, so I'll okay. Just across it. This is a really quick It doesn't update. matter. I'm a- Okay, this is just a quick update on something that a lot of people have been talking about. It's very near and dear to my heart. So before I get back to my next meeting, I thought I'd share. Um, Okay. So we've been hearing a lot about Aurora, Colorado. Um, I happen to live in the area. I also, my previous job was with the CDLE, um, so the Colorado Department. uh, Sorry, I'm saying too many things at once. The Colorado Department of Labor and Employment. And then I also have worked with various types of um, apartment, like, Unit, like different groups of apartment buildings. Um, they call uh-huh. each other different things in the area. Um, and so I'm not right. sure if you saw that there was an interview that just came out 
of the folks who actually lived in the apartment buildings that allegedly had been overrun um, right. by immigrants. Um, and so there was a really important protest where these folks came out and basically started to submit all of the racist things that were said to them. Um, it came out from the city. So the Aurora Director of Housing and Community Services has come out and shared that there are code violations that have been submitted by the city of Aurora on all three of the buildings owned oh. by CBZ Apartments New York City oh. in the city of Aurora. This is through the actual city commission. Um, multiple conservative city councilors on top of the conservative mayor have now come out and said that those code violations have had. This is a very new company in the area, and because all three buildings have their code violate, like have massive code violations for rats, um, just dilapidation. Yeah, yeah, it's mold. unsanitary. Goodness gracious! So it's not just people saying. It's not just like random people or even the protesters saying this didn't happen there's now directors of housing and community services coming out with receipts mm. saying, here are the things the city's actually filed against these three buildings owned by the same conglomerate that are now saying oh it was the immigrants it's the venezuelans no they have been out of they've been out of you know they've been violating the city's requirements for quite a while since they moved to the area so wow i live here i've gone to kind of scope it out i mean denver has a lot of homelessness I, I don't prefer to use that term people who do not have homes yeah. um, and a lot of buildings that are truly falling apart and you know there's not a lot of care i myself have lived in buildings where the maintenance has been poor in this area incredibly poor wow um, and so i just wanted to kind of come and say there have now been receipts that came out since that um since that protest that show that actual people involved in the city council people who work for the city yes thank you the unhoused that is the right term you're right Ange. um they have come out and basically said this isn't about these people this isn't wow. about these folks coming out this is literally an issue that the city's been having with this conglomerate wow since they come, came to the area wow and once again they're trying to politicize it and make it into something that's not about maga is so desperate gabby thank you Yep, I just thought I would share, and I'm sorry that I used the wrong term. It is unhoused. Thank you, everyone in the chat, we'll reminding me. Uh, I we'll really get it right. It. This is what yes, we do. Sir. We're we get it right over here, even though they don't like it. But we try to do the right thing on this side of TikTok. At the same time, we do tell the truth. So, Gabby, and you're doing both. I really, really do appreciate it. Seriously. Yes, sir. I appreciate all you do. Got to get back right. to a meeting now. But all thank right. you for hearing all me right. out. Appreciate all right. it. All right. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Gabby. No uh, lies detected. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen up. Unfortunately, Zeus has other affairs to tend to in the kingdom. All right. Uh, just a reminder, we will be going live on this account until September 11th at 8 a.m. when the other one gets back in my possession because, you know, they put me on timeout because we were cooking the Trump supporters so well. Don't look at it as a sad thing, all right? When these things happen, again, it just makes me go deeper to my bag to make sure I come out even a better version of myself, all right? So before we get up out of here, I want to give you all a round of applause. You're Thank you for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow, same Zeus time, same Zeus channel. I want to give also our final round of booze and shame to all of the Zeus haters out there. And these are not just my haters. These are also your haters. They get on TikTok day in and day out and spread misinformation and disinformation on behalf of Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin. They promote evil, misogyny, bigotry, hatred, and all kinds of criminality and corruption on behalf of their orange cult leader, Donald J. Trump. Trust me when I tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. These folks are the worst of the worst. They are truly the scum of the earth. Join me in giving them our final round of, you guessed it, booze and shame. <laughs> Gentlemen, take care and stay safe out there in those TikTok streets. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. I'm out of here. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great show. Yes. I might have to do some positive truth. I don't know. I might do it. I might do it. Because I see there's a bunch of liars in the chat. Gotta get this account going. Heaven, thank you. It's OC, Lil Hawk, brother. Nice to see you. This scam, nice to see you. You know what we do, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna keep cooking. We will not be silent. No, we're gonna keep telling the truth. Uh, I don't know if Jeff is live, but I was supposed to go live with him on Thursday. <laughs> oh my goodness! You see how things happen. Let's go, DJ Kitty Cat.
I love you too. Delilah and Wine. Yeah. Straight tag. Nice to treat ya. Hey, little mama. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate the support. Oh, my God. That was nice. Thank you, and Good game. Gotta go. TikTok rocker. Thank you. Angel. Thank you. Lady Reba. You know what we do. We cook over here. You know I'm so handsome. That's why they call me. All right, you guys, get out there and do what you know you got to do. Keep fighting. Keep up the good fight. Have a great day. You too, man. Blinking. All right, I salute you as well. Uh, Mr. Bo Peanuts. You get down and triggered. I haven't even talked to you before. I don't know why you're triggered. You say you want it facts, well, I'm living proof. I've been waiting for this moment. My age got a chance. If you play around with love, then you guarantee the rules. Why do I change accounts so often? Do I report to you or not? I'll be back, don't worry. Wherever you're looking for me, I'll be right there. I'm, I'm around every corner you're searching on this app. Seriously. You don't know where I'll pop up. <laughs> well, then why are you here? Oh my god. You gonna need to go hang out with Snuggles, alright? Seriously. You take that nonsense and you hang out with Snuggles. You can't, you can't stop this. Lady Reba! Tell him, Valerie. Mind your own business. Mr. Bo Peanut. Alright, is that you or is that the dog in the picture? I can't tell. Insane Asylum. You know who that is? Jack Smith. Insane Asylum. Insane Asylum. Jack Smith. You know they go crazy when I say the late great Hannibal Lecter. Okay, they say, why would he mention Hannibal Lecter? Insane Asylum. Jack Smith. Here you go. Insane Asylum. Insane Asylum. Jack Smith. Insane as I am, Jack Smith. Insane as I am, Jack Smith. Insane as I am. I've never been as deranged. Jack Smith. Jack Smith. You hear that? Jack Smith. I wonder what his name used to be. Jack Smith. It sounds so innocent. It does. Jack Smith. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here. I gotta go. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all.